borrowed pencil and a borrowed banknote. Watch what's going to happen. I'm going to fold the banknote up like this and take that pencil and feed it down in and through the banknote just like this. You can see it going through the middle there. Now watch, I'm going to straighten it up. Keep your eye on the pencil, keep your eye on the banknote because if I just shake, that pencil melts straight through the banknote. Now I know what you're thinking, that happened too quick to follow. So this time, we'll do it in super slow motion. Watch the pencil as it goes through the bill like this. You can see it all around there, you can see it through the middle. Now watch in slow motion. One, two, three. It melts all the way through the borrowed banknote. Everything was borrowed, everything can be handed back, and I'm gonna teach you how to do this right now. <laughs> 22,000 subscribers. Uh, what is going on? It's Saturday, I just woke up, check my channel, and another like thousand subscribers in a week. <sighs> thank you all so much to say thank you. Genuinely, I'm gonna do a Saturday tutorial as a surprise for you, which is this video right now. So if you've been following me for the past decade, at least, or 15 years, you'll have seen me doing this pencil through Bill. I may have taught it once or twice randomly in places, but this is my effect called Bankrupt. Truly, this is my everyday carry pencil through Bill. I've been doing this for over 15 years. It's one of my favorite and most practical pieces of magic that I've ever created. So I'm gonna teach it to you right now. I kind of secretly hate giving it away, but I do this channel just for the love, just for you subscribers. So by the way, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do it now if you're enjoying these tutorials. But I'm gonna teach it to you today, and I just need to say one thing. For those of you that have performed for a long time or have been in magic for a long time, you don't need me to convince you about this method. But there are some of you out there, I'm aware that some of you are beginners or some of you that don't have as much performing time into your belt, you might be a little bit worried when you see the initial method to this effect. Now remember, think about how fooled you are watching the performance. Think about how it looks to you. And you're a magician. If you're watching this video, you have an interest in magic. Now think about that from a layman's point of view. Just before we reveal the secret, I want you to think about this as well. We see those effects like the cross-cut force, where the card is on top, the spectator cuts the deck, they mark it with the bottom half, and then they look at the card which they think they cut to as their own card. Anyone that's done that once knows just how fooling and how powerful it is. The same is said for this effect. Anyone that's been performing for a long time, like I said, you don't need me to convince you, you know how powerful these devious methods can be. But those of you that don't have that confidence yet, or maybe that time under your belt, just take it from me. I have been doing this for over 15 years. You can go back through my socials, you can go back through my videos, you can see me doing this time after time. This really, really works in the real world. But what you need to do is learn the secret, but you're gonna learn the little details that turn it from a trick into a miracle. You're gonna bookend that secret. So from a layman's point of view, even if they figure out the core method, which they won't, I guarantee they won't, even if they figure out the core method, the little extra touches that you add all around the method to create a perfect illusion is what sells it to them and they're left with just no explanation of how this works and they're just holding a pencil, they're holding a banknote and they have no idea how it's done. And that's the type of magic you wanna be doing to your audience. So let's learn how to do this trick, but please don't dismiss it and please practice it. One of these items contains the secret. Comment down below if you can guess which one it is first, but here's the secret. Very quickly before I show you, do not dismiss this too quickly because I guarantee when you learn this and can understand it properly, you'll perform this for the rest of your life like I do. This is the secret. A tiny hole which is made to be completely invisible. But don't worry. If you think they're going to find that, this routine ends with no hole in the banknote. So here's how you perform it. First of all, you borrow a banknote from the spectator before borrowing the pen. When you borrow the banknote, you immediately fold it almost in half, but about three quarters of an inch off center. And I put a literal tear with my fingers right here, just like that. Okay. When I pull it tight, and that hole will vanish. You can even press it, and it will literally disappear. I do that as they are searching for a pencil or examining the pencil that I lend to them. 
Now, with this tiny hole in the bill, and I've exaggerated it here for the video, it has to be just big enough to let the pencil in. But here is what's going to happen. You now have the pencil and the bill and can hold everything at chest height. I fold the bill at an angle. From my point of view, I can see the hole. So I'm going to stand from your point of view so you can see everything. So I fold it in half and push my right thumb to the side, meaning the hole is by my right thumb and finger in case I need to pop it open. I then take the pencil, I turn the bill downwards so the V is pointing to my right, and I tilt back and pretend to feed the pencil through this hole. But secretly what happens is the pencil goes behind the bill, behind my thumb, and I push it into the hole just like this. Okay, then I, I come and tilt my hand back so the pencil is level with the floor and I square everything up. Okay, so let me show you that again. So I come here and I square everything up and I make sure not to drop the pencil into view. They are now looking at it from the front. This is the first phase. Then all I do to make the pencil flash penetrate through the bill is with my right hand and my thumb on the back of the bill here, covering the hole, I wave, and as I do, I pull that bill down and over the pencil. Okay, that will make it look like from the front that it's penetrated immediately out in, in a quick motion. Then I, I just basically act like I'm just displaying both the items individually, but secretly, I do it in a way that when I pull the pencil away, I'm actually secretly sliding it out of this little fold of paper. So I say, boom, it comes out. And I go, there's the pencil and pull it out. Here's the bill. And what I do is pull this tight and look how invisible that is. Okay. I'll show you this from the front now. Again, the hole is here on my side, but I V-shape the bill, take the pencil, I'm gonna to pretend to feed it in the hole, but secretly it goes behind. So I pretend to feed it in, it comes through the hole. So this is what's happening on the inside, it comes through the hole, I turn to the side, I square everything up, and now I do that flash penetration where I'm just pulling back on the bill, and it looks like the pencil melts immediately through. And then I say, boom, it's through, Maybe it was too quick and I'm just secretly sliding it out of the hole. So boom, it's through and secretly I'm pulling it out and I display and that's the first phase. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you real quick. If you are enjoying this video and you love seeing these tutorials and follow my channel, then it would mean the world to me if you just hit that subscribe button. And if you want to comment down below and tell me if you like seeing this sort of magic, which is an impromptu everyday carry, piece of organic magic. So if you've done that, if you hit the subscribe button already, I apologize for interrupting. Let's carry on with the rest of the tutorial. Now, the second phase is I'm going to place it into this V position one more time. But this time, I'm not going to place the pencil in from this end. We're going to come this side and thread it in like that, which just looks immaculately fair, especially when it, when it rests there. But let me show you what's happening from behind. So I've just done phase one. I fold the bill in this V shape. This time the V is pointing up. I sometimes pop the hole a bit with my finger and I make sure that the hole is visible. You don't want the hole down here where they see it, right? So I make sure that hole is visible for me on my backside. I take the pencil, I thread it in the bill and then back out through the hole like this. And what I'm looking to do is find the halfway point here, because then I should be able to let go and that pencil will balance there, giving the illusion that it's, that it's the entire bill holding the pencil. Now, this is my favorite part. This is the really beautiful piece of the illusion. And then I'm going to explain to you why this is so, so convincing and so fooling. But watch what happens. I say I'm going to do this in slow motion. And again, from the front, they can see this, which just looks real. And I, and I start to move my hand back and forth. One, two, 
as I get to three or a different count, whatever you want to do, I begin to slowly move the pencil as an angle as I move it back and forth. And you want to start small and make these bigger actions happen because by the end, they're going to think that this pencil melts all the way through. But what's secretly happening, and this is the really fooling part, is as you get right to the end, you're doing really big motions, allowing you to come up and out and straight back before the final apparent final motion where you just go and through. Okay, so at speed, this is here, you can display, go watch one, two, three. And then immediately I just reposition my fingers and pull the bill tight like this. There's two options here. And I urge all of you, and I, if you follow my magic, you know that this is one of my performance pieces that I've been doing for the last 15 years. You all, if anyone has followed my work, you know that this is one of my go-to effects that I do almost every time I get a chance to perform, including with polymer bills, which we'll talk about soon, uh, which are plastic notes. I hand the bill, I personally hand the bill to them, but I know some of you may not be comfortable doing that, so I'll cover you right now. But I hand the bill to them for two reasons. This hole is not, pop they're not looking for a tiny hole. And even if they find it, which they never will, I've never had someone find the hole. Even if they find the hole, it doesn't explain how a pencil can be in the middle of the bill and immediately, A, jump out of the bill, right? That, that hole can't explain that. It doesn't make sense. It's just a small tear as far as they're concerned. And secondly, this tiny tear doesn't explain how the pencil melted all the way through the bill, like that. It doesn't explain it, even if they see it. So, they won't find it. Go, go ahead, if you have cotton bills or paper bills, put a tiny hole in it and hand it to someone. They will not find it. Build your confidence. Don't even do it as a magic trick. Literally, take a bill, put a hole in it, push it together, hand it back to someone and say, do you see anything wrong with this bill? I promise you, I promise you, you don't even have to worry about getting caught because you don't even have to do it as a magic trick to get your confidence up. Just hand it to them, they will not find it. But I'm going to have you covered anyway if you don't want to do that. But trust me, just trust me, they won't find it. So you hand them the bill and you have the pen back here. They either put the bill away or they, they want to examine the pencil because what I, trend, what I do is hand them the bill but I act like this is suspicious. So I go boom, and it's their bill anyway. They, they don't think that you could have done it in such a way. I hand it to them and I hold back with the pencil. So I hand them the bill, they're like examining this, I'm here with a the pencil. They take a quick look, they don't see anything. They genuinely have no idea how it's done because this doesn't explain anything anyway, even if they did find it, which they won't. And then they reach for the pencil. So then they put this down or away because they're finished with this, they can see there's no secret in the bill. But the fact that I'm acting secretive with a pencil makes them want this, okay? So hand the bill out and I'm, I'm back here with the pencil. And then I wait, watch them put it away, and then they reach for this. They, this is not important. This is what they think the secret is. And you can hand this to them because there's nothing up with this. But I hear you loud and clear. What if you don't want to hand them the bill? What if you really don't want to hand them the bill? So here's what happens. It's a borrowed bill. I finished the effect, okay? So we'll do the last phase here. Okay, so last phase. This is exactly how it plays in the real world when I do it this way. Just like that, it melts through the bill. Thank you very much. I'll keep this as a tip. You can keep the pencil. <laughs> and then I pause. I don't do anything. I, I, I wait. I wait for ages for a laugh. And then I hand them the switched bill. This is a switched bill. I can just switch it in my pocket. Doesn't matter. There's a bit of comedy there. There's a bit of fun there. This is the bill without the hole. This just goes in the same pocket that I'm going to switch it in. But it's the world's easiest bill switch because, and you need to try this if you're too afraid, just try it once. You finish the effect, they borrowed you the bill. Everyone is expecting you to pretend or be, play, play a joke on them and keep their bill. Everyone thinks that when you borrow a bill off someone, they're always expecting you, the magician, to do something which ends up with you keeping the bill, right? It's just, it's just the way it happens. You all know, I actually need, really need to tell you if any of you perform magic. So when you finish the trick and you say, you can keep the pencil, I can keep the bill, whatever way you want to word it to make it funny, 
you put it in your pocket. Don't do an awkward switch. Just put the bill in your pocket for fun. Some people will, and this happens a lot, some people will, will just clap and say, well done, and they want you to keep it. At that point, I hand them back the switched bill. But I said, no, no, I couldn't keep your money, honestly. Thank you very much. But they don't care. There's no heat on the bill. Their borrowed bill, their borrowed bill to them is not the secret. Everyone always thinks it's something tricky to do with the pencil. So you finish the effect, say, thank you very much. Tell you what, I'll let you keep this pencil and I'll keep the bill. And put it in your pocket and don't rush to switch it. Bring your hand out without that bill. Leave it there. And then you can just say, I'm just kidding. Of course, you, you, it's your bill. You can keep it. You can even keep the pencil if you want. There is never any suspicion on the bill, ever, if you do the job correctly. So this is my everyday carry pencil through bill. I've taken it around the world with me. It's probably, I, I call it bankrupt. I've been performing it for years. I've taught it for years. I've had a million miles out of this thing. And no one can ever tell me ever that this does not play well in the real world because I do it so damn much. This is one real quick convincer you can do to really sell the illusion when you're going to switch the bills. You can put matching dog ears in the bills so they both have the exact same corner bent over, right? So you could do the entire effect, melting it through and out with this folded over. When you switch it, the switch bill has exactly the same matching thing. It's a tiny, tiny detail but it will sell the entire effect at the end because they'll really, you'll find when you perform to spectators, it's the little details that some people think they're being clever and looking at to try and catch you out. So some people will be hyper-focused on the dog ear. And you, I'm gonna do it that big. You can literally do a tiny one like this, but it's just enough for some spectator to try and catch onto and, and they, they'll focus on that like a laser. You'll, you'll see it when you perform. So then when you do the switch at the end, they'll be looking at the bill as hard as they can. And, th and then you'll hear, you will hear somebody say, it's, it is the same bill because it even had the little fold that I noticed in the corner. And it's those little touches that take your tricks from magic tricks to miracles. But I'm hearing you, what about doing it with plastic notes? Well, let me tell you how. So here's how I do it with paper money. The secret is exactly the same, but look at that again. Just no sign of it. This time I prepare my own bill. So I take my own bill and I cut the same hole, the same slit, but with a pair of scissors. All right. And you'd be surprised at how many people, especially in the UK where we have plastic bills, don't carry money on them because of Apple Pay. Come out and just show this, right? You don't have to worry about them finding it or examining it. It's your bill. And look how clean you can display it. There's nothing funny about that, right? Same with the pencil. Again, don't hand them one, not the other. Just be like, look, here's a pencil, here's a bill. All right. Then I do the effect from start to finish. And at the very end, I do exactly the same thing, but I have another bill with no hole in it. So I do the same switch and I say, look, I tell you what, for being such a good spectator, I'm going to actually let you keep the pencil. And I do a bit of comic time in and I hand them the pencil and I just go and put the bill in my pocket. And I leave it there. I don't run away. I don't go and fumble and quickly take out the switch one. I leave the one with a hole in my pocket. And you will have people, normally these days, people tend to film you. So they just want the visual stuff, right? You find, especially when you're doing things at a chest height, people will be filming you. They'll have their hands full. But I say, I tell you what, for being such a good sport, I'm going to actually let you keep the pencil. And people laugh. And I put this in my pocket. And I, and I wait for the, for the fun to stop, like people to stop laughing. And then, I just bring the bill back out. And if I've got a table near me or whatever, I'll just throw it on the table. I don't bring it out and say, I'm the sw I mean the switched bill, of course. I don't say, now, go ahead and look at it. I just bring it out and I just casually just throw it on the table near the pencil or hand it to somebody off the side. I don't make any mention of it at all. To them, I'm not putting this in my pocket because it's dodgy, because look how clean that is. That is, for all intents and purposes, a banknote. And remember, this bill instantly popped through and then melted through. They are looking for long slits and flaps and funny things with this bill. They ain't going to see it no matter how close they look. So when I put it in my pocket, it's the whole joke is, and watch, I, you've, you've been such an incredible spectator. I'm really going to let you keep this pencil. And they laugh and put this in my pocket and I don't say anything for a minute. And, I'm, and, I, and then I just bring it out. I don't bring any attention. I just throw it on the table. And then that's the effect. I know some of you are thinking that there's no way this ever works. Go back, follow my work, have a look. I've been doing this 
for over a decade. I do this effect in the real world more. I've done it more times than I can count. Literally, this is a stone cold stunner effect. And it's so practical. It's so easy to do. And it's such an organic piece of magic. It's going to serve you so well for so many years if you just have the confidence to go out and do it once. But make sure you do it well. Practice it first. So that's it. Like I said, the secret is devious. And to us, now that we know the secret, it's kind of obvious, right? It's hard to see the secret in the actual bill itself, but it's hard to unsee the secret now that we know it. But please take your mind back to the first initial performance of how fooled you were or how good it looked to you when you very first seen it without knowing how it's done. So to put the time in, put the practice in, and like we say in the video, even do those testers that are not trick oriented, where you just take a bill with a hole in it and just hand it to someone and say, is that bill normal to you? Do you see anything strange with that bill? Because people just go, nope. Unless they know what to look for, they won't see it. And that's it. Please take care of this trick. This is my baby. I call it bankrupt. You guys can see the proof. I've been doing this for over a decade, over 15 years. I love it. I performed it all over the world. And now you can too. So if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Drop me a like on the video. And if you want to see when the secret videos drop like this, then don't forget to hit the notification bell. With all that being said and done, I'm back tomorrow for the Sunday service live stream. Then back on Tuesday for the tutorial Tuesdays, as always. And we're back on Thursday, every single Thursday for Fooler. I'll see you very, very soon tomorrow. Peace.